How do fish live underwater? Dr. Lexi Liu, and I wish I could survive underwater as well as a fish. How do they stay underwater? What makes them so special are adaptations. An adaptation is a physical or behavioral change in an animal that makes it a good fit for its environment. As a human, my feet are adaptations that help me move around on land, and my teeth are adaptations that help me eat meat and plants. But if we want to learn more about adaptations in fish, who could be better teachers than two fishy friends? Hey there, kiddos. I'm Betsy Bubbles. And I'm Chopper Chubbs. You may be wondering how Betsy and I breathe. As an animal on land, I breathe in oxygen that's in the air. Water also contains oxygen. Fish gulp water. Well, well. Which moves into the mouth and passes out again through the gills. Ah. Uh. I have one set of gills on each side of me, just behind my head. Gills are an important adaptation because as water moves through my gills, oxygen passes through the gills and into my blood. The blood then carries the oxygen all around Jobber Chum's body. Holy God, isn't that cool? Yeah, so how do fish move underwater? Fantastic question! We use our fins to swim. Betsy Bubbles twists her tail, or caudal fin to push herself forward. A pair of pectoral fins, one on each side of Betsy behind her gills, is used for turning. Behind those, she has a pair of pelvic fins for steering and braking. I also have a dorsal fin on my back. This helps with quick turns. I only have one dorsal fin, but some fish have up to three. Three, wow. I think we have just enough time to see some of these adaptations in an underwater adventure. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Welcome to the Caribbean Sea in Mexico! So many fins! Wow, the bodies of some of these fish look just like the letter S. Remember how fish push themselves forward with their caudal fins or tails? When they do that, they swim a lot like how snakes wriggle and make an S-shaped curve. Look, look, what's that? Believe it or not, that's a fish called the lionfish. It's waving tentacles, fancy caudal fin, and crazy coloring helps it blend in with its environment. That's called camouflage. That's right, Dr. Lexi Lu. Camouflage tricks predators like chopper chums into thinking that lionfish are real fish. What? Fish? Where? Come on, Betsy, just a little taste. Oh, no! Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no! Let's get out of here! Oh, gee, that was fun. Are you as hooked on fish as I am? If so, let your classmates and teachers know what you think could be a fish adaptation. Thanks for adventuring with us! Thank <laughs> you.